I'm Roger Groh. We're here today to talk about the pros and cons of having a financial planner. What is a financial planner, I'm asked a lot. Well, there are all kinds of definitions. But if I were looking for a financial planner, what I would be looking for would be somebody that could really look at my situation explicitly today, look at what I have today, look at where I want to be in 30 years, 40 years, 50 years, perhaps for retirement, and then help me figure out what I have to do to get there. How much money do I have to make? What sort of return on investment do I have to make on the cash that I've, on the investments that I've built? Uh, what are the best investments for me to make? What other considerations in my life might there be? Income tax, life insurance, children, gifting. Anyway, financial planners fall under that broad category of they help you plan from, to get from where you are today to where you're trying to go uh, up the road. Now, be aware that in many cases, financial planners have an agenda. And their goal is not necessarily to represent your best interest, but to learn enough about you in order to find a weakness to sell a product. Don't do that. Be sure you pick a fee-only financial planner where you are paying them cash in order to help you get from where you are today to where you're going in the future. Now, having said that, some of this you can do yourself. There are many websites that you can go to today where they have programs on there that will help you do some basic financial planning. Now, it's very basic, but it works. Remember, fee only, make sure that they represent you only, and use them because it helps to have somebody to talk to, to talk about goals, reasonable goals, and, and what you have to do to get there. They can help you. I'm Roger Groh.